there are currently three FDA approved G pants for use in migraine. A Toja pant is a preventive agent. You broach a pant as an acute agent and remit a pant as both an acute and as a preventive agent. Another emerging G pant is a drug called Zavigipant. And its unique feature is that it's administered by nasal spray. Now, when patients have the option of taking an oral agent or a nasal spray, all other things being equal, most people take it, prefer taking something by mouth. But the reality is that there are people who need non-oral therapies for migraine. You know, one advantage of nasal sprays is that in ideal circumstances, the drug get into the body quicker and the hope is that they'll have a more rapid onset of action. In addition, if people have prominent nausea or vomiting, taking an oral agent may make headache worse. If someone swallows a pill and then vomits, obviously the medication won't be absorbed. So for people who want a rapid onset of action or have prominent nausea and vomiting or who awaken in the middle of the night or in the morning with well-established headache, a nasal spray has lots of advantages. So if you look at how long it takes for drugs to get into the body, Zavigipant as a nasal spray reaches its maximum concentration in blood in about 30 minutes which is very substantially faster than the oral g -pants. So the hope in conducting this study is that Savigipant might have a more rapid onset of action in relieving migraine. Now, the study had two primary endpoints. One was freedom from pain two hours post-dose. The other was freedom from the patient-designated most bothersome symptom two hours post-dose, and the study met both of those endpoints. But in addition, we looked at pain relief at multiple time points and found that in people who took a 10 milligrams of vitropant nasal spray, that there was a statistically significant difference from placebo that began at 15 minutes and then continued throughout the period of active observation. So a principal advantage of Zavigipant is that it meets the needs of people who might benefit from a G-Pant, but who also need the benefits of a nasal spray. And the study that we presented was a phase three study, and the drug has now been filed with FDA. So, you know, my hope is to have it available for use in clinical practice over the next year.